ART's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. Teammate is approaching and wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants to pass you. That's great. Lucas can push on now. wants me to pass on his thanks. I know it's frustrating, but you made the right call for the team. Now we're all with you. Just bring it home as best you can. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are three laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 41.2. You're gaining by over five seconds a lap. Keep it up.
what we asked. Good job. So another fantastic victory for ART today. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what was them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to end. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. An amazing race today and a very well-deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car that works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. And now, let's take a look at the driver's stand. The lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Well, after a drive like that, it's got to be Alessio Lorandi. Very clean, very smooth. He can be really pleased with that one. On to the teams then. ART move to the top of the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Great, well that's everything. Hey, look, I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. It's just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm, and remind me, how many F1 races have you won? You watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. Look at them go! Devon Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact! 
Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Don't give up. You're still in this race. Okay, the stewards have awarded Devon a penalty. Push on, you can still catch him, you can still beat him. Devon is in the pits, Devon in the pits. P6.
87 at the moment. stuff from ART today. What a superb victory. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Well, it was a bit of a roller coaster, I think. There will be a lot of cheering for today's win. Frankly, I'm amazed that Devon Butler only received a penalty for that collision early. But watching the rival he knocked out actually come back and beat him, that made this whole race worthwhile for me. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of most sport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It was not the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I have to give it to Artem Marklo. You know, it was just the kind of drive you would expect from a driver of his caliber. And now a look at the team standings. ART have extended their lead over the championship. Goodbye for now then. But we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. 
Well, that was a great recovery today. Did you think it was all over when you had the collision with Devon? So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Great, well that's everything. Ah, I was looking for you. Well, what can I say? I guess there's no other way to put this, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever giving you the common respect that all racers deserve, because you don't deserve it, neither of you do. That was the dirtiest driving I've ever seen. Ridiculous. I thought exactly. I'm taking my line and I get smashed into? I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. And then I'm penalised for the privilege. You're unbelievable. You deserved every second of that penalty. Maybe more. I mean, aside from trashing the car, did you ever stop to think that maybe someone could get hurt? Yeah. Me? Fine. But winning at any cost is your strategy, not ours. You better watch yourself. Whatever. Don't let him get in your head. He knows you're a better driver. So, on the track, stay away from him. He will try to force you into contact. That's how he wins, yeah? Let's get ready for the press briefing. So here we are in Abu Dhabi. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed and plenty of excitement for the fans no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned champion. I can't wait. Okay, this is it. Last race of the season. All you have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. No pressure then. Good luck.
is in P3. is in P3. is in P3. is in P3. behind. You're leading the pack. P1. The gap behind us is 20.3 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap.
behind you. position. Front of the pack, the gap to the car behind is 28.1 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. It's been my privilege over the years to witness a number of great sporting events, and here's another to add to that prestigious list. It's the ultimate dream for any racing driver. We have a new Formula 2 World Champion. It was a magnificent race, and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for ART today. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. Yet it all. The rival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head-to-head -head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. Devon put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. There's been a lead change at the top of the championship after a superb performance. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? For me, the RT driver was the best in the field today. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in the wheel-to-wheel -wheel situation. They showed maturity and patience. And the title is in the bag for ART after a long and hard-fought season. They've done astonishingly well this year, and the glory they'll be taking back home is fully deserved. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. First of all, congratulations. You must be thrilled. Wow, you're the driver's champion. How does it feel? So that was a thrilling end to the season. 
How was the race for you? Well, we've been hearing rumours of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? Appreciate your time. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it'll ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Yeah, yeah. We know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. It's great. You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. To you too. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. See, so you're gonna have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. Things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao! So, with this big win, you're going to be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Ah, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubters over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. Oh, hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled, and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Welcome to your new team. Williams has a rich history, with several periods of dominance over several decades in the sport. It's high time for another one of those, and you can help make that happen. So let's knuckle down and get to work, okay?